Hello, welcome to Working with Miniatures. I'm Jim, and tonight we're going to be painting the Fallstrom Jaeger Missile Squad from the Dust 1947 game. We'll primarily be using Army Painter Speed Paints and War Paints. Let's get started. This miniature was previously primed with an airbrush using Vallejo's matte black followed by zenithal sprays of Vallejo white and white ink. These multi-man miniatures from Dust 1947 come pre-assembled which can make painting and applying base textures difficult, so I decided to carefully disassemble this one. I start with the speed paints I'll be using to apply the base colors, applying them just fast enough to keep a wet edge all the way around, but slow enough around the borders to prevent or at least minimize any bleeding over. Something I noted while painting the flesh is that the zenithal spray over the face was minimized by the overhang of the helmet's lip, making the face dark enough that the flesh tone speed paint had minimal impact, culminating with a darker tone than I wanted. With the clothing's base color dry, I apply reddish brown speed paint and splotches over the clothing, helmet, gun, and ammo packs, while leaving the sleeves and lower pants legs alone. This will mark the camo spots I'll layer up with some brown paints later. This will only be a two-tone camouflage on their clothing this go around, as I had done three and four tone camos on previous Dust 1947 miniatures that I painted on this channel. Because the green I chose was already so bright, I started with darker greens that I painted next to the deepest shadows to add a little more saturation. These would help add another bridge between the darkest and lightest hues. For the boots and gloves, I follow a similar approach. The first brown used is painted next to the darkest shadows and adds a little more saturation. I also use these colors to start highlighting the camo patterns on the clothing. For the flesh, I add jasper skin under the cheeks, under the bottom lip and nose, and into the recesses around the face to add more saturation to the shadows. I know I still have quite a few long rows to hoe as a miniature painter, and it took me a while to figure out how to control army painter paints well enough to have the right amount on the brush while simultaneously able to keep a very fine point. I find that cleaning my brush out often, even when I'm batch painting with the same color, helps. While highlighting, I focus on light stippling touches and maintaining a very sharp point. 
Notice how little the tip of the brush bends, so gentle that I'm barely caressing the cheeks. As I edit these videos, I've been noticing that the better work I do is done when I use slow and gentle touches, especially when doing the finest highlights. The final flesh highlight is with Corpse Pale thin to a glaze. This I apply with the same gentle stippling touches, but now only on the upper center of the cheeks, the edge of the upper mouth, the tip of each nostril, and the tip of the nose. This is the final result. I'm glad I didn't go for a three or four tone camo as there's so little space that had camo applied that it would have been difficult in some areas. Having the two tone kept this project simple. I also liked how the guns came out, having modernized them some though as personal weapons weren't really camoed like this in World War II. For lessons learned, I missed some mold lines on the legs, arms, and artillery and I should have put more effort into the bullets. I also made the mistake of using matte white for the sclera of the eyes so they're unnatural. All we need to redo the eyes and then spray everything down with matte varnish is the commando green and witch brew colors dried to a glossy finish. It's gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you learned something or are inspired to start or expand your own collection. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content in this video and would like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Jim with Working with Miniatures. I'm truly grateful for your time and I bid you a fond farewell. Till the next video.